people! Dustin Fish Tanks bring it to you. I want to show you my favorite aquarium out of all these suckers in my basement. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Today we're showing you the boost tank. First things first, before we get into the boost of philandra tank, I need to drop a history lesson on you. And some of you may have heard this before, but I'm gonna break it to you again. I was a history major. You have to sit through this and you have to take a pen and you have to write this down. You have to understand the origin of the name Boos. Because Boos of Philandra comes from the horse named Boos of Phallus. You've never heard of Boos of Phallus before unless you were a history nerd like me. Boos of Phallus was the horse that Alexander conquered almost all of antiquity with. The story goes like this. Alexander the Great's father was a great king. One day a horse trader came to the king and said, hey, I got this horse, he's untamable, but if you can tame him, I'll sell him to you for some ridiculous amount of money. Alexander said, I can tame that horse, but if I can tame that horse, I get him for free. Guy said, you're on. Alexander took this wild horse, big, black, giant, lumbering horse named Bucephalus, and he took him and he turned him. He turned this horse away from the sun. The horse was being blinded by the sun, and he put him into the shade, and he took down that horse, and he broke that wonderful horse. And instead of having this wild, mighty horse, he had a calm, awesome, fighting warrior horse named Bucephalus, folks. And he went on to conquer almost all of the world on the back of Bucephalus. And in fact, when Bucephalus died, there was a city even named after him in honor of his fallen horse. How great is that story? And with that said, there's a reason Bucephalandra is so cool. This is my Boost of Philander tank. It is a boat front. It is a Fubal B26 boat front. And boat fronts suck to film. But whatever, I'm going to attempt to film it anyway. This is a highly caffeinated video and I have not had breakfast. This is a Manzanita driftwood piece right here. Comes up here and comes out the top. These are air plants. Air plants grow in the air, but when you put them in the water, like so, and you dip them down into the water, they instantly grow. You guys think I'm crazy, but it's true. You can watch them grow. You watch this little spot right here, and then I put them underneath the 150 watt Coral Life Metal Halide from 1985 that I still love, and the air plants grow. But back to the boost. Can you see the red shimmer on the boost right there? That is why boost is so gangster. That is why boost has been over harvested in the wild because it does this kind of crazy stuff. This tank was set up uh, before the aquatic experience two years ago. This is some baby tears I have going on. This is a Boost Catherine, I don't know, some kind. And then um, this is another big black type of Boost. That is a giant uh, fire cherish. And you'll notice down here, this baby tears has all been hacked and rehacked and rehacked. And uh, it's doing all right. This is tricolor Boost Boyani. Tricolor Boost, three colors of Boost. Trident, three leaves. Tricolor Boost, three colors. That is a gangster betta fish back in the corner who periodically eats baby cherry shrimp. This is a fun one for you. This is Marsilia Minuta, little clover action. I actually have a whole giant pot of this out in the greenhouse that I can show you, but this is a really wicked little foreground plant. And I had to trim the baby tears back because it was overpowering my little uh, Marsilia. So I've liked the way this is coming. I actually planted this down on Saturday, so it's looking pretty legit. I love the boost tank. You know why I love the boost tank? Because the boost tank is an example of patience, something that none of you have. This tank has been set up for uh, a year and a half, and that's why it looks good. Because it takes time for it to grow in, because Mother Nature doesn't go quickly for you. But when you give Mother Nature some time and you get busy with her, things turn out okay. So I am super jacked about the Boost of Lander tank. I want to know your comments on what you think about the boost tank. This is also some random flame moss that I've stuck up here just because I think it looks cool and it's growing underneath the halide and it's doing really well. Um, this is a junk ass rippins. I'm not allowed to say that on YouTube, but I said it anyway. Junk ass rippins, not to be pronounced with the bad word. And uh, yeah, this is how the boost tank looks. I like the boost tank. The boost tank is an example of patience. Manzanita driftwood's actually two pieces. This is a Pontaton Alonja plumulosis in the back here, and a couple air plants on top. To be fair, folks. Tell me what you think about the history of Boost of Philandra, and drop me a comment on what you think about this tank. Everybody, hit that notification button, please. And tank on. Later.